Okay, so I've got like these crankshafts and a rusty big block head and a harmonic um, balancer here. And I'm going to take this muriatic acid and we're going to put it into this trash can. These all should fit in here pretty good. Add some water and then see how this does at killing the rust. We're going to put it to the test. Okay, so I've got everything loaded up in my can with the water and the muriatic acid. I threw some valve covers, see what they'll do to those. Get the paint off. You gotta put some baking soda, big bunch. Got this huge plastic 55 gallon drum, put water in here. It's gonna be my neutralizing water. Uh, after the acid's done, I'll put them in here to dunk them. And then I'll put some oil on them to keep them from flash rusting. That would be step two. We'll see what happens. Okay, so it's been about an hour. And you can see it's doing something. It's kind of a yellowish, murky type stuff now. The rust on this one looks like a brighter red. So hopefully it's getting rid of all that. <clears throat> All right, we'll see. I use my dunk tank for the headers, or sorry, the valve covers. And I think it's helped clean up some of the paint I took off. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I just took this 396 crank out of the uh, acid drum. It's been in there for like um, almost two days, I guess. It was really cold though, it's been like in a 30, so um, what's really crazy is I just hosed it off with the hose over here by my, my fire pit, and the rust here, it just like is wiping off, like it's crazy, it's just like a coming right off, cleaning off, I, I rinse a lot of this off and you can see where the clean steel is, even on that journal, pretty amazing. Um, so far, so what I'm gonna do now is just take the, uh, I'm gonna take this Scotch Brite pad and I'm gonna wipe it all down and see if I can get it clean. Then we'll have a shot of that once it's done. Okay, so this is looking pretty good here. This is just like a hose down and a light scrub, and you can see like uh, this uh, bare steel here, and all that stuff just been like rubbing right off even on the journals and stuff. I'm gonna put some WD-40 on here and uh, it's gonna wanna flash rust and then clean it up some more inside the garage, blow off the water. So far, this is pretty, pretty incredible. Okay, so I have uh, pretty much kind of scoured it down, clean it up, I just rinsed it off again. And you can see how like most of this rust is gone. I think this thing might even polish up without having to turn the crank journal. So big thing is uh, pretty impressed so far. Can't believe it. this thing was pure, pure rust. So muriatic acid, a couple days even in the cold, not heating it up, it'll work. I just now have to blow all this water off and then I'm gonna put it in my oil dunk tank and let it get some oil to penetrate it so it doesn't rust up again. All right, so I just blew dry it off by the time I was done, two minutes, it's already starting to flash rust a little bit. It just pretty much wipes right off though, so I'm putting this right in the oil tank straight away. And uh, I might even dunk it in my uh, sodium bicarb dunk tank again uh, to make sure I'm killing all this acid that keeps wanting to flash rust. Okay, so here's the uh, the finished um, crank for the 396 that I just took out of my oil drum here. You know, just uh, kind of going over it. It's not doing the flash rusting. These journals came out good. And... All 
on off, oh, this thing can be saved, be a survivor. I'm just going to put a bag over it now and put it back in a crank box until I can bring it to the machine shop and uh, have them look at polishing it. And if they say it needs turned, then probably only need to be like 10,000. So, oh no, not too bad. The uh, muriatic acid method works.